Good afternoon, everyone. 21 Alive reporter Alex Nall here to discuss what's next after Allen County Democratic Precinct Chair is elected Sharon Tucker as the next mayor of Fort Wayne on Saturday morning. And here to discuss what's next with me is Allen County Democratic Chair Derek Camp. Derek, thank you so much for joining us again thank and you. continuing to sort of explain the process <laughs> of everything with us. We appreciate it. Um, I want to start with obviously the swearing in. Now mm -hmm. that we know more about it, when and where can we expect Sharon Tucker to be sworn in as mayor? Uh, so within the last hour, that was actually just announced by the city, that will be held at the Clyde Theater tomorrow at 1130. Um, that's just off on Bluffton Road. Um, so that'll be tomorrow and open to the public. And obviously when talking about Mayor-elect Tucker, she represents six, the 6th District on City Council. I know we've talked about it a little bit. Sort of explain now what happens with her seat on City Council and how that's replaced. Yeah, so after Saturday's caucus, um, Mayor-elect Tucker had to submit her resignation as the city council member. Uh, she did that yesterday morning. Uh, that has been acknowledged by the county clerk uh, today. Uh, so that begins our 30-day clock uh, to then replace her, which will be the same process, a caucus of precinct committee chairs within the 6th city council district. I'm sure you're tired of hearing <laughs> the word caucus. Um, would you expect the caucus for her seat on city council to be as highly contested as the one we saw for the mayor's seat? Um, I don't know at this point. There are a couple candidates I'm hearing about. Um, I don't expect it to be as many candidates, um, but I do expect there to be several for us to consider uh, and the precinct chairs to consider. Um, we will run most of the same process. We will probably go back to our original normal rules of doing a Q&A at the caucus itself instead of a town hall, though. Yeah, you sort of talked, we were talking about that process, that town hall mm -hmm. wouldn't do that, but sort of a similar process yep. when it goes into everything with that. Correct. Uh, obviously, when it comes to the historic election of Mayor, uh, Mayor elect Sharon Tucker, she's now the second woman and, and first uh, black mayor that will become mayor of our city. Just talk about how historic that is for the city. Um, I think it's a tremendous thing. Uh, obviously, being the first and, and earning it with that kind of energy that was there Saturday, I, as anyone that was there or was watching saw, I think it, it speaks volumes about where we are as a city. Um, in addition, it goes along with what we're seeing in this state. Uh, last year, we elected um, the first women and first African-American mayors in Evansville, in Lawrence, in Michigan City. So we are continuing to do that um, and breaking barriers as a Democratic Party. One of the things you notice, I noticed when I was watching and it was pointed out by evening anchor Amr Boss when he was reporting there, was the reaction, the standing ovation that Sharon got when she was elected. What did that kind of tell you, hearing everyone in the party react as, uh, as highly as they did when she was announced? I think a couple things. One is, uh, first and foremost, she's widely respected in the party. Uh, she's been a, really kind of the heart of the party uh, for a number of years, having served in county council and city council and as a party officer in the past. So she's well known and well liked within the party. Uh, but more importantly, it speaks volumes towards the unity that this party has, um, not just with the precinct chairs, but all the other candidates were standing right behind her to support her as she was accepting that um, the nomination. You just hit on it, We're talking about her city and her county experience. How do you feel like that experience will translate for her as mayor? As, as a city council member, she obviously is already working with the city and has an understanding of what goes on in the city, but that county council experience is gonna come in key um, because the mayor of Fort Wayne works quite closely with the commissioners uh, at the county level, and so having those pre-existing relationships is certainly gonna help her in that role. A big focal point that was discussed throughout this whole process at the town hall, and again, just throughout everything, was finding someone, electing someone that would be able to sort of carry on Mayor Tom Henry's legacy and his vision. Obviously, the precinct chairs that elected Sharon believe she is the best fit for that. How do you feel she will try to continue on his legacy? Um, I think it's clear based on some stuff she's already said since Saturday that she is going to continue that economic development for downtown, making that the, the engine of our city that brings in the dollars so that we can then turn around and go support our neighborhoods and start um, investing even more, um, which I think tracks with what Mayor Henry has done the last several years. And even uh, Mayor Bandemer just last week before the caucus was announcing neighborhood development uh, dollars. And I know one of the things I talked with Mayor-elect Tucker about after the town hall was, you know, her area, if she was elected now that she is, um, of wanting to talk with city leaders, city officials, people that work for the city, because obviously it's been just an unknown sort of last few weeks for them. If, for those city 
officials and people that work for the city. What do you feel their emotions and reaction is to um, Mayor-elect Tucker being elected? Um, I think some of it is going to be uh, a sense of relief knowing who their new boss is going to finally be. Um, I think it is smart of Mayor-elect Tucker to go and make that one of the first things she does to get a feel for those employees and see what it is they're working on and how they're feeling about stuff um, and really just kind of get her hands wrapped around um, how this is going so far. In her experience on City Council and, and working with the county, is she the type of person to reach across the aisle? Obviously, when we, we talked about Mayor Henry, a lot of his peers and colleagues said he was the type of leader and mayor to reach across the aisle and work on both sides. Do you feel Sharon's the same way? I, I do. I think her experience on City Council and what history tells us is that she will work across the aisle. She definitely worked with Republican City Council members. Uh, I would expect that to continue. Um, there's a core group on that council, both Republican and Democrat, that are more than willing to work uh, together for the betterment of the city. And we've talked about her career. Sort of just talk about who she is on a, on a personal no level. I know you, you know her. What, what's she like? Um, once you really get to know her, she is a lovely woman. Uh, she is dedicated to what she does, uh, and I can't wait to start working with her on an even closer level. Um, obviously, with the mayor as the leader of our party, uh, I get a lot more interaction with her, um, and so I'm looking forward to that. It's been a long and emotional at times <laughs> process uh, going through all this. I guess for you and just everyone in the party, what are the emotions like now that we have elected a new mayor? I think uh, there's several things at play. It is a major sense of relief um, for everyone because it is closure. Uh, for some, it is closure for the passing of Mayor Henry. Uh, for myself, I did not get to grieve, grieve those last three weeks. I had to wait until after Saturday's caucus to even go to the cemetery. Um, for others, it's also a sense of relief because of the historic nature of what she represents. Um, and I know she has already gone to some organizations and, and whatnot where she has witnessed that herself, um, just that historic nature. And I know it hasn't quite sunk into her um, in talking with her and those close to her. Derek, as always, thank you so much yep. for providing your perspective and uh, just sitting down to talk to us. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you.